वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस क्वेश्चन यूर आस यूर गिवेन ए फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स एंड यूर आस टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ क्रिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ दिस फंक्शन सो इज अ फंक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स सो यू हैव टेन क्यूब एक्स एंड टेन एक्स एंड द कोफिशियंट्स आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ थीटा वेर थीटा इज सम एंगल बिटवीन फाइव एंड टू फाइव थीटा इज सम एंगल बिटवीन फाइव एंड टू फाइव सो यूर आस टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ क्रिटिकल पॉइंट्स टू दिस फंक्शन so what are critical points critical points are points in the domain of the function where f dash of x is equal to 0 or f dash of x is not defined so the points in the domain of the function where f dash of x is equal to 0 or f dash of x is not defined or called critical points of the function so now you can see that for this function f dash of x is always defined because tan cube x is a nice function tan x is a differentiable function in its domain because in the domain odd multiples of pi by 2 are removed already odd multiples of pi by 2 are not there so trigonometric functions are nicely differentiable functions within their domains so f dash of x is not defined this option will not arise so you just need to find the points where f dash of x is equal to 0 so let us differentiate this so f dash of x is equal to 1 by 3 sin theta into 3 tan square x differentiation of tan cube x is 3 tan square x into secant square x plus sin theta minus 1 times because you don't need to differentiate theta theta is a constant with respect to x because it is a function of x theta can be taken as constant sin theta minus 1 into tan x as differentiation is secant square x plus The differentiation of this is zero. That is equal to three and three gets cancelled. Secant square x, secant square x into tan square x into sine theta, tan square x into sine theta plus sine theta minus one is equal to zero. That is equal to that implies so either secant square x is equal to zero or this is equal to zero. Secant square x is equal to zero. So if secant square x is equal to zero, then cos x has to be infinity, which is not possible. Secant x is never equal to zero because secant x does not lie between minus one and plus. It always greater than one or less than minus one. So this is not possible. Or the second option is. tan square x plus 1 times sin theta is equal to 1 so if you take sin theta as common sin theta times 1 plus tan square x is equal to 1 or sin or sin theta is equal to 1 by 1 plus tan square x so 1 plus tan square x is secant square x or let us keep secant square x yeah secant square x is equal to 1 by sin theta so whenever secant square x is equal to 1 by sin theta the differentiation will be equal to 0 so that is equal to cosecant theta so theta is some value between pi and 2 pi theta is some value between pi and 2 pi that is theta lies in either third quadrant or fourth quadrant so within third quadrant or fourth quadrant you know that cosecant theta is negative so cosecant theta is some number which is going from minus infinity to minus 1 so for whatever value of theta you get some value between minus infinity and minus 1 and my secant square x has to be equal to some number which is negative so secant square x is positive lhs is positive rhs is negative so these two can never be equal hence the differentiation will never be equal to 0 so if the differentiation is never equal to 0 there are no critical points so option d is the right answer to this question thank you